Oh, man, it's loading. Okay. So, yeah, we got to Silent Hill. We found out that Heather is indeed Harry Mason's daughter. For some reason, she is avidly against keeping the katana equipped right now. Okay, let's go. Let me know if there's any issues sound-wise or, I guess, quality-wise or anything like that. I've always said, the quality on your end of the stream looks nicer than mine. Am I cold? My head's cold. Although, to be fair, I'm going to getting too warm with these headphones on, so... No backing in. But I like to back in. Fuck you! <laughs> sake kill it no it still pops up hmm I need a way Doggy, we can do this all day. Or I can equip a gun and then we won't have to do it ever again. I can make it so I can see chat, but then I can't see, like, you know, thingy redeems and stuff like that. Oh no, it's all there still. I really want to make it so the jump scares have the best chance of getting to me, but it just doesn't look like it's going to be a thing. You know, a cat will probably sneak up in and I just you see each other. Alright, I may... No, because I can't make jump scare a free thing, because then it'll just be completely abused. It has to cost channel points, which means it has to go through Twitch's system. I'm going to the hospital, Anna. Give me a second here. <laughs> See, that one doesn't show up because that one is free to use through sound through sound alerts. noises in my left ear. <sighs> Evans night. Let's go clubbing. Oh. The game intends for me to go this way? It's a tourism pamphlet. I had forgotten it, but it's true. Silent Hill was originally a resort town. Welcome to Silent Hill. Silent Hill, a quiet little lakeside resort town. We're happy to have you take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a restful vacation here. 
row after row of quaint old houses, a gorgeous mountain landscape, and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day, from sunrise to late afternoons to sunset. Silent Hill will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor, Roger Widmark. Age of Empires 2. Oh yeah, well, they did a PS2 version all years ago. So it would just be a bit of refining on that, really, I guess. Beef jerky. Okay, it looks like they intended for me to come here and pick up some health and stuff. It's fine. <laughs> Charlotte! Pass! Anyway, that wasn't that good. I didn't mind it. I think I was a kid, so, you know. Ugh. Heather, just fucking run. William just keeps screaming whenever you do a sound alert. <laughs> Oh my god. I wasn't expecting the fucking nurses. I don't know. Oh, and he likes fish pie. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Kid will eat anything. Nothing interesting in the shelf, Oscar, out on the floor. Different types of medicine. Just leave it all alone. Yeah, if you don't know what you're doing. What are you staring at, Heather? A map. Like, fuck. That one's broken. It's broken. Right. Shit. 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 Right. Okay. Oh, we've been here before. It wasn't too long ago, actually, either. <gasps> Nothing of interest on top of the desk. Medical record or something is for this Leonard guy. For this be the same Leonard that Vincent was talking about. Room S12 presenting mild audiovisual hallucinations, emotional instability, obsessive ideas. Subject mild schizophrenia. Suspect mild schizophrenia will continue observation. Basically calm and cooperative with a strong sense of justice. However, according to reports, becomes very violent when overexcited. The other one is for Stanley Coleman. Usually passive and cowardly, also egotistical. Sometimes shows and acts on a obsessive attachment to a particular woman. This has caused violent incidents. Use caution. Mm. There's stuff written on the white board, but none of it really matters to me. So you have a black eye because you've been fighting against this Poe. <laughs> Fucking Poe. Broken. 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 Can't get to that one. Broken. Broken. 
That's not true. James unlocked this one. There we go. Hello? The day has finally come. That's right. The day when you and I will meet. I was always thinking of you here in this gloomy cell. I never even knew your name or face until today. You won. Let the bald be free. But now I know. I know you're the one I've been waiting for. And you've been waiting for me too. That's why you came to rescue me. Oh, how I love you, Heather. I want to give you my prized doll. I made to commemorate our meeting. Start this everlasting love. Ah, I can already see your smiling face. Stanley Coleman. Oh, fuck's sake. Disgusting, I won't touch that with a 10-foot pole. Yep. Bet you're a flower in a vase. Nice, but you know, whatever. Goody! Oh, we already came from this way. That's the Symphony of Remaster. Oh, they remastered it? Ooh! Fuck it up. Fuck it up. Well done, Heather. Doesn't look like those games do. Yep. Tell the Symphonia is really good. Yes. Ah. Uh. Huh. No, turn around. Is a good usage. There was a PS2 version? I don't even know that. It was all this for an ampule? Ah, can help. That's what it was on, that's why I recognize the name. It's also in my Steam library. There are a lot of things stuck to the wall. A cookie, a toothbrush, a spoon, a Christmas card, a clock. Whoever it was probably used glue, but why do this in the first place? Oh, goody. It is, yeah. <laughs> glue or blood. Oh, no. The organization has me shut up in here. They mean to break my will, to make me forget about all that. But I'll stay sane, even if they throw me in here with the lunatics. How about if I stuck, stick this to the wall? That would be worthless. You can peel it off, can't you? With that junk those nasty wenches won't stop using. If a thing has no meaning, there's no reason for it to exist at all. Just as you exist for me. What? But why haven't you taken my doll with you? Ah, my gift must have embarrassed you. How cute you are, Heather. Spaff, for fuck's sake. Stanley Coleman. Please take the doll, Heather. Crusty socks. So I need something to remove the suspect glue from the wall. 
Examine the notebook. Have you even read it? I hope this will, I hope this will never come to any use, but maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of you going, far going away, far from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then? That has something to do with who you are. It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from a vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thanked God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died. Another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted to go there. <clears throat> and it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Return to her original self. That's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self, that was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God, a lesser Gillespie. Half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby, in that girl of mine, of ours. Seven years passed before the half, that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made a lesser whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into this sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with the usual rites. This was a lesser's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for the girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped the birthing ceremony to bring God out of a lesser. The newly born God wailed at once and was dead. All, all from that girl's and probably a lesser's conscious resistance. That's not the end. After God had vanquished, vanished in a glow of light, a lesser reappeared and gave me a baby. She looked a lot like the girl so long ago. And then a lesser was gone. Dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream. But I had proof that it wasn't. The girl was nowhere to be found. And in my arms, the baby. Now 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday. And again, it feels like a million years ago. I confess I had reservations at first about raising that baby. Could I love her? Her existence was thoroughly unexplainable. I thought, she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led to sadness. Anger. There were times when I put my hands around her tiny little throat. Oh, this is a good story. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she, when you look at me, you laugh. So, even now I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. My precious daughter, Harry Mason. You kind of did get me, yeah. So what's the deal with this? And, um, I started screaming with all kinds of fucked up then. No elevator, no stairs. We need some kind of solvent or something. It's a necklace. The thing inside the necklace, dipshit. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Crystal. How can you not even acknowledge the dipshit moment? Wait. This one is not locked. This is the visiting room. I didn't check the elevator here. I doubt it works, but it does work. Fuck's sake. All right. Start at the top. Start on the second one. Here we go. Don't do your swear thing again. Now that gets you in TikTok jail. Uh, 
Um, okay, there is another way to go. Nail polish remover. Perfume. This is where the voodoo doll was. That's a shutter. Oh, not again. Here we go. William's asleep. This here is Alex's voice I saw about that time. You may not yet have realized your own true feelings, but if you but you sense them unconsciously, and so you're trying to get closer to me. That's a virtue, the path to paradise. If the door's locked, open it. Use the password for the prison gates. Doctor, I've forgotten his name. Anyway, that quack has it posted. He should be here too. I mean, four numbers would have been good enough, but he kept on going. Isn't it a shame I'm not there? Aren't you irritated? I long for you, but you're so cruel. Still, I want you, Heather. Tell me, Coleman. Can we take the doll? Ages ago. It's a typewritten memo posted here. What's this supposed to mean? The first is larger than the second. The second twice the third. The third smaller than the fourth. The fourth is half the first. What? So we're thinking first is the highest, second is double whatever the third is, but the third is smaller than the fourth and also half of the first. Just uh, take a little screen cap of that. <laughs> Oh god, four of the numbers are not repeated, three are not in the top row, two are not in the right row, one of the numbers is the final key. Oh, bollocks. Oh, bollocks. Yep. Yep. Give me a minute. <laughs> Alright. Let's go back to that clue. Right. The first is larger than the second. The second is twice the third. The third is smaller than the fourth. And the fourth is half the first. Right, so if we figure, if we say that... If we go with the smallest option here, so if 4 is number is 1. Right, so we've got dash, 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 1. Right? And the 4th is half the 1st, which makes that 2. It can't be. Because then there has to be something... That's two, and the first one is four. The first is larger than the second, the second is twice the third, and the third is smaller than the fourth. No, I don't like that pattern either. So if we make the fourth three, the first one six. And the second is twice what the third is. That makes the third one three, but the last one's also three. The last one, four, eight. The third is smaller than the fourth. So it could be eight, six, three, four. Pulling that out of my ass, what's the second part of this clue? Four of the numbers are not repeated, right? So no repeated numbers. Three are not in the top row. Yeah? Two are not in the right row. Yeah. 
one of the numbers is the final key. One of them can't be nine. I'm going with my, 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 my attempt here. Of eight, six, three, four. I'm a fucking genius. She have a gun. Drop it, Sally. Ooh. Oh. There's a man's corpse laid out on the stretcher. Please, please let it be my stalker. The medical record here, could this be for the dead guy? Background, unknown, name, age, unknown, not admitted patient, found in poor mental state on hospital grounds, and temporarily installed in room M4 at chief's discretion. Died late tonight from blood loss due to severe carotid artery. Due to severed carotid artery. Was gas grasping on kitchen knife in right hand, assumed this would this was cause of neck wound. Possible suicide, but wound angle suspicious. Sent to second floor treatment room for further investigation. I received no proof or corroboration of event from patient residing in same room. I have not notified police, however, future necessity leave victim's bed in effect intact, room M4. Tart T my help. The start time is my key. What? Margaret, let's swear our love until death do us part. I want his head. No. He's supposed to be an M4. Half two. The attach case is locked. No way. Oh, is it going to want 24 hour clock? Oh. Okay, month's 12 o'clock. Right. Instant camera. Nothing else interesting. Disgusting. Oh, not again. There was a tattooed guy on that rumpled bed. Not anymore, though. An alarm clock and filthy bag of his. Ah, but don't misunderstand. I haven't done a thing. I didn't hate him, though he was a liar. Shall I write something of my own on my chest since I can't cut it open to show you in my heart? I love Heather. No, let's think a bit more forceful. I love Heather isn't enough for what I feel. Oh, what tender emotion this image brings. Stanley Coleman. Take the doll, Heather. A brain. A lunatic tries to give you a doll this forcefully. You just take it.
Uh huh. The fuck are you flopping like a fish for? Am I in bad shape? I'm in pretty bad shape. We're all good. Okay. Um, potentially got something to remove the key from the wall. We're we doing on like everything checked. Beep. Cinnabit. Who knew that Silent Hill 3 was a Souls like? Melee focused combat. Alright, where's the spunk wall? In C4, of course. Spunk wall. I'm assuming I want to combine that with that. Oh. Just use that straight on the wall then. Use the nail polish remover and got the key for the stairwell. Excellent. This stairwell? No, of course not. That would be too easy. For which stairwell is it? Okay. Haven't checked the basement on the elevator yet. Probably should do that first. Likely it doesn't work. Yeah. Use that, it's fine. Right, so the third floor didn't work either, so we'll go there as well. Oh, there's also a roof, isn't there? Oh, for fuck's sake! I also like the rooftop, it makes me want to fly! You too? Stanley Coleman. I'm not going to the roof yet. No, no, I think we'll check out the other floors first. Mm. Oh, is this the, uh, the room that annoyed the hell out of me? Right here. 
That room made me swear bad. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Flowing freely your ebony hurl in the night sky, shattering fragrance. Scattering fragrance. Uh, my heart clamoring in my chest like a storm, you trifle with it. Your pristine glance like a feast when you smile. My thoughts disturbed, my breath like opium, it drives me mad. Eric, a great poet who conveys my feelings so well. I shouldn't have let this place get to me. Should I never have gone crazy. But it's superbly enjoyable to join in my love for you. Well, why won't you accept proof of my love? Don't stand on ceremony now. After all, you and I exist as one. What I give to you is the same as what I give to me. Stanley Coleman. Please just take the doll. It's unlocked. Ah! You were locked in here, weren't you? Wait, what? Why does that look like a door? Lock is broken. Oh, there's something on the wall. There's a memo on the wall. Punishment for brutality to Walter's patient. 12 hours in this... 12 hours confinement in the special treatment room. Dismissal policy is no longer in effect. Contact the chief if you have any questions. <laughs> something handwritten on top of the typewritten sentence the trick is to not leave any marks um, the, one other thing this looks like it was written by a different person the chief is a pervert, Christy would have been better off if she had been fired oh right okay well, Christy's in a better place now can I leave? thank you Stun gun battery. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> Heather, my most sacred lover, I'm always watching you, no matter where you are or what you may be doing. I have never lost sight of you. I know you feel intensely lonely, yet with a single key to this door, those feelings won't stand in the way any longer. We haven't been able to see each other for so long. Be patient. It's just a little longer. I'll be patient too, even though it's hard to hold you in these hands of mine. The key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Why there? Ask that idiot doctor. There's not a single person here who's right in the head. Not just in this hospital, I mean in all of Silent Hill. Except me. Stanley Coleman. Take the doll. No. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. Special treatment room. Oh, that one's locked. Oh, what? Shit. I pushed too many buttons. Okay, I can do it with D pad. Eight, six, three, four. Different code. It could have been the same. Same kind of door. Uh, we'll do roof next just because Stanley told me to go to the basement and I don't want to go to the basement. Someone's going to push me off the roof. Oh, we haven't fought these guys in a while. Mm -hmm. 
Don't prod me with your hand. I think we're dying right now. Uh, yeah, use an ampule. We're fine. Listen, fuckers. Kick it. I'm this one. Submachine gun bullets. Excuse me very much. You can't just give me submachine gun bullets and then not give me a, an SMG of some description. You bastards. Oh, the book's gone. Right, back down to the basement. Can we inspect the key that we got? Oh, it was a stairwell key. It was a stairwell key. All just junk. Streaks of blood as if something got dragged are continuing behind the shelf. You know, it's more like they start from the back of the shelf. Can't squeeze into those, no way I can move the shelf either. Hmm. I see. Banging noises in game, wasn't it? Blood chalk continues into the elevator. Adam wants to peek in, but then it's a little creepy too. Peek in! Yeah, I guess they must be in the elevator. I don't think I can call the elevator from here. Oh, 
Oh, you cheeky fuckers, I have to reload it myself. I don't have a stun gun. It's this elevator. Oh, shit. Doesn't work. Why am I wearing perfume now? Is there a door locked somewhere? Right, wait, yeah, that door there, um, it has a code, it has a code, it has a code. Got that one already. What do you say? I thought this was makes one to fly. Storeroom. With a single key to this door. Key is behind the shelves in the underground garage. Underground garage? Oh, the other in storeroom. It's not really a garage, is it? Ow. I couldn't. Couldn't get to it. Use the camera to take a picture behind that. Three one seven five. <sighs> nice. And that's on the third floor. Yes. Fuck off, game.
three, one, seven, five. Let's go. Tissue and alarm clock. <laughs> oh, the bin's knocked over. There's clearly tissues in there too, and there's a tits magazine. Read it. This magazine is kind of gossip magazine. No, it isn't. It isn't, surely. Hope House, teaching despair. Hope House, an orphanage on the outskirts, so I feel really bad now. <laughs> Uh, the Earth goes to Silent Hill. Shit. But behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society. Silent Hill Smile Support Society. A charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good weight religious values. Mr. Smith, temp who lives near Hope House, has this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs in the facility. He he <laughs> what exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious-looking round concrete tower which appears to be part of the facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to let us to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seems unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may, in fact, be a prison, or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by its locals simply as The Order. It's a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that, the, that telling the whole truth and showing the children the truth path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. Hope House. You've told us you lived in Silent Hill. Of course you've heard the name Hope House before. Sounds like it's a big deal. Hello. Beef jerky. One of these doors is going to have Stanley behind it. I told you to take the doll. Now the doll's fucked up and you're going to die. Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. What? It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it, saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day, for today. The day I'd see you, the day you'd save me. Today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... Who knows? Uh, do you want to take the doll now? The doll is all torn apart. It's really pretty sad to look at. Oh, I wonder who did it anyway. Leonard? It's okay though, he's been wanking. Let it be just you. There's more behind me. Holy shit, now I'm on low health.
That is a good way to waste 31 bullets. Where's the last one I went in? S8. Okay. Locked. 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 Ah! Goes the whole bed stinks like year old sweat. Answer the phone. By the way, I think it's for you. Hello? It's Claudia. No, I'm not. Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. Why not? of all mankind <sighs> what a ridiculous dream wait just listen to me for a second i've heard enough from you already how did you turn out this way where did i go wrong listen to me already i'm not claudia you're not claudia <laughs> my name is heather Are you Leonard Wolf? Leonard, I fucking knew it. I thought you were my daughter. Uh. <laughs> Claudia is your daughter. Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I, I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words. The anger. <laughs> you plan to kill her, don't you? <laughs> I'm sorry. But... She... She killed my father. Oh, yeah. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here, and I must stop Claudia. Don't. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself, but the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. I think I can be of help to you. No. Oh, this just screams is a bad idea. Hall on the second floor. So this is clearly a bad idea. Let's go and save. stayed no that book stayed
Because if you would waited until I got to the end of the hallway on the second floor, that would have probably fucked me up. <laughs> we start with the banging. Bitches. They do have guns. I'm not mental. This room wasn't here before. Yeah, this room wasn't here before. I don't have a map of this area. Right. Right. We're definitely getting trapped in here, aren't we? No, don't force the camera to this angle. Just bad texture. Oh, get a fuck. Another door. Yeah, that one can't open. Uh, this picture, this one doesn't make my head hurt at all when I look at it, but I know this one, it must be. Save point. Or not. The hell was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I know her, Lisa, who was so heavily Heaven, heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird though. What? Oh no. What a thrill. What the fuck? Ooh. 
Whoa, don't fall. There's a door there, is there? Am I in the hospital again? Right. I'm in the hospital in Nightmare Realm. I actually want to get back out. Okay. Buttons are red. Woo. Um, curious. It's spreading. Ugh. Oh, she ain't moving. Okay. Get up, Heather. Oh, come on, get up. It's unlocked. Where am I? It's like impossible to see in there. Room get more red. Right, 
the storeroom was open. I can't go anywhere that way. The stairs are broke. Okay. Do we start at the top? Second floor. Wasn't I on the second floor? This is the locker that's ringing, the one that's covered in blood. Stanley. Happy birthday, dear. Oh, I forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear. Who are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. Who the fuck are you? He's underground now. His new name is Number. We are doctor. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday <clears throat> and I have a present for you which do you prefer to give pain or to receive it <clears throat> you can have the one you hate the most <laughs> happy birthday to you But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. That's the problem? <laughs> Save point, please. Hi. <sighs> Plastic bag, health drink, health drink. The plastic bag was deemed important? Sorry dude. Ugh. These win the award of most annoying enemy. We're on two, down to one.
No save point yet. Uh, well, why is this a room? Okay. Oh, thank fuck. There's a memo here on the chart. Dr. Midkiff, that'd be the fucker, wouldn't it? Please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on other on others and a victim too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. Ah, Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumor is true. According to the head nurse, I do think he's a good person. Otherwise, though, easy to deal with. This is, um... All shades of awful. Health is fine. Check the visiting room. <laughs> Where's room 312? Oh, that's, uh, yeah. I'm in low health. Stop. It would take me so long to clear out these floors. Right, B1. B2. B3. Of course. The lowest one works. This game's horrifying, by the way. Zero, eight, four, seven. Seven. Oh, 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 okay, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Right, hang on. Give another look at this. One, two, three, four. Four, eight, seven, zero. Four, eight, Seven zero unlocked. Cremated key. 
Sound like? Aside from that, this big room is completely empty. The only spot where there's a locked door that I can remember is on f one, I believe. Bit of a hell floor for me, but you know. Day room. Oh, I'm going my way. Got that one, this one. Ow! One nurse at a time, no big deal. Well, with the right cleave, I can do two nurses at a time. Oh, is that the birthday present? Sweet. Oh, wait, what's this? Something on the ground. This is a birthday card. Happy 38th birthday. 14 plus 7 plus 17 is 38. What? On the door. I could do two nests. <laughs> ah! That room is hell on the eyes. Here we go. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Title is Lost Memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying goes to the modern age is that of the ritual of sacrifice. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart, to praise and to show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate, only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religions practiced nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Fair enough. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. That noise better have been my cat on the floor. There's a stretcher here. Not your usual stretcher. This is more like an altar of some sort. Lit candles and knife and it's that blood I smell. They worship that picture or it's something in the picture. Cows didn't let themselves know, did they? What the fuck do I do now? I guess there's three doors I haven't checked. Wait. What items do I have? I have a plastic bag. Right. 
Like, I can't see shit there in this corridor. I don't think this door exists. Move! Examining room in the cafeteria. Let's go. Huh. I'm not very happy about this. Ah, oh, bitch. Who gave nurses guns? Nothing I can do on the second floor, really. Third floor is mostly checked. We just have to go back up and have a look, I think. I have a plastic bag and that's all I have. That was you. Dude, can I put a plastic bag on you or something? Sorry, I'm just gonna move myself around a bit here. Anyway. Perfume. Stop it. Second floor, jack shit. Start on the third. I can check out the third again.
I need to check. There must be a door here. Aha! Let's get a bag of blood. Thanks, dude. Oh, another open door that I missed. Oh, there was an earlier save point. Hand outside the window. There's more shit on this floor. One more room to check. Back a little bit. I think S is S six isn't here. It's locked, okay. Alrighty then, we have blood for the altar. Which is on the first floor, correct? Killed the wench in this room, so we're all good on that front. Shut up! Bitch! Let me through! This isn't fur. Oh good, no more medkits. Didn't want those anyway. Alright, bag of blood. Trying to make this hide the chat just in case anyone wants to do jump scares or anything, you know. There's a hole here. Okay. Another save because why not?
No thrill this time, guys. It's just a scene transition. Let's go. Oh, fucking hell. I'm gonna guess we're near the end of the game just because everything is properly fucked up. And we appear to be going towards where Alessa should be. Or was. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh shit. Don't you think so? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and do whatever you want. What do you mean by that? I mean that I don't think the way you guys do. I don't want any part of that kind of paradise. You're an unbeliever. You deceived me. You deceived me. Say it like it is, eh? So you tried to trick me so you can run off with my seal, eh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! I told you I wasn't trying to trick anyone. What is this seal thing anyway? Don't play innocent. You can't fool me anymore. The seal is mine! I was appointed by God to be its guardian! Ooh. The only thing you will get from me is a gruesome death. <laughs> is that you? Death to all who turn their backs on God. <sighs> Ugh. Is here a mental case? Yes. Oh. I mean, like, <laughs> I'm gonna run out of ammo, but this is fun while it lasts. Yep. Oh, he's dead. Boss fights are kind of easy. <laughs> I 
Leonard's not here anymore. I guess I should head back to the motel now. I hope Douglas is okay. Mm -hmm. See you. What's this? Talisman. It's a seal. It's the jizz wall. No shotgun shells, five SMG bullets. Uh, what do we have for the handgun? 71. Yeah, I'm going back to trusty Katana. Where's safe point? Reception. Let's have a quick look at that talisman, shall we? No examine, just... This thing's weird. Right. Why did you send her to my father? Was that wrong? It's your fault that he... Oh, but surely it's a good thing. Uh, it means he was one of God's beloved, no? God, who never received salvation. You'll go to hell, Vincent. Yeah, fuck you, Vincent. You'll never feel the joy of God's everlasting paradise. And you think God is going to save you? Ha! Huh. What do you know anyway? I know about the pleasures of this Pleasures of this one, he says. Happiness while I'm still here. You hated your father, didn't you? Mm hmm. I saw the way he hit you. He kicked you and made you cry. Oh, the memory of his cruelty is forever burned into my mind. Yes. Yes. And that's why we need God. What you call faith is nothing more than a child crying out for love. That's why you're all alone. Mm -hmm. None of you do. Okay. Good to know. You two really don't like each other. Right. Um, I'm going to check out Jackson. I'm also going to take the body armor off for now. Yeah, sure, really quick the perfume. Let's smell funny. Doggy's behind me. Texting. 
gas. Fuck you, doggies. Oh, the 106 is where we were, right, okay. I get you. <clears throat> oh, shit. Where's Douglas? He went out. But he left a message for you. Was there someone else here just now? No, no, just me. Don't you want to know what the message is? Yeah, what did he say? The church is on the other side of the lake. Church? I wonder what he meant by that. You don't understand? That's where Claudia is. Across the lake. On the north side. If you're going, you better go through the amusement park. It's probably the only way in now. Go northwest on Nathan Avenue. It's a bit far. Hmm? You're closer than heaven. Is that it for the message? Uh huh. You believe him? wrong you don't trust me no can I save go northwest on Nathan Avenue head up the road sweet I've got an itch here. <laughs> really interrupting the yeah, sprinting section here. Isn't this the way that James went to get to the um like was it like View Hotel? Bro, yeah. I still remember the mannequin people flying out of the, the bushes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, it's that place you had a nightmare about. And that's going to close behind us, right? Bloody hell. It's fucking with my eyes. That's closed. Oh, hell. Is 
Well, we've been here before. Can't remember this question. The mascot from the local amusement park. I don't want to look inside. Something in this most terrible. The dead body inside this box thing. There's nothing interesting here. There's nothing I can do about it, but I wonder who and why someone did this. Map amusement park, but I can't bring this with me. Why not? The dead body inside the box thing. There's nothing interesting here. I mean, it's pretty interesting to look at. He appears to be crawling with blood. Stuffed animal mascot isn't the mascot from Unit Park. Yeah, yeah. Once you've seen one dead body hanging, you've seen them all, eh? Guess she's saying she doesn't want popcorn. Ah, oh, come on. I'm on the lookout for ammo here. Here we go. Dog around here. Nope, there's this guy. Kick it till it bleeds. Reload your gun in the menu. If I'm right, I should be able to go inside the gift shop. Beef jerky. Nice. Med kit. Nice. More stuff. Fucking rabbits. Rabbits everywhere. Something fell over somewhere. Oh, save point. And. Roller coaster key, nice. Thirty three saves. Let's go. This is the door I can go through. Doggies, doggies everywhere. That's really interesting. The start of the game shows you the end of the game.
Wait. This is not something we want to do. Remember, rightly from the dream, that's where we die. Turn the roller coaster off. Excuse me. I mean, better than getting hit by it, I suppose. I think I'd rather just get hit. I hired you to find the girl. And do you perform serviceably? What is it now? You lied to me about Heather, lady. I don't like being used. Lie? What lie? That Heather was kidnapped. But it's true. She was originally one of us. That man, Harry Mason, stole her away and kept her hidden from us. Yeah, but she says she was happy. She was brainwashed by him. Deceived, because her true self had not yet awoken. She carries God within her. So you claim. When a lesser mother of God truly awakens. Yeah, what's going to happen? She will usher in the eternal paradise. What kind of place is that? A place with no pain, no hunger, no sickness, no old age. There will be no greed or war, and all will live by God's grace alone. No this, no that, no nothing. A paradise for castrated sheep, maybe. Sounds pretty boring. Yeah. I pity you. You still don't understand. You're going to kill me. Is it really so easy for you? I've done it before. Then I truly do pity you. Do it then. Oh, hey, it's like the popcorn sound. Nice. Oh, ticket booth. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, good. Just what you want in a horror game is a haunted mansion. Wait. That I can't explore? Oh, 
Oh, save point. Sweet. It's good. 34 saves. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go. Welcome to the Borley Haunted Mansion. We're so glad you came. Please come inside and look around. When you feel you're ready, then go through the door. I already was. Okay. Do you know why he said he killed his family? Because I felt I had to! Right. Anyway, I'm lying. It's all just a joke. I wanted to scare you, that's all. This is bizarre. The truth is, only one person died. By suicide. Oh. Okay. <laughs> You're a dick. Danny, a quiet young man, but quite friendly as you can see. He was so eager to meet you. His hometown is New Orleans. But he came here after first losing his way. Oh, maybe you might know. Where is the path to heaven? The door here. This mansion is quite old, so please watch your step. Sometimes the floor suddenly gives way, and beneath the floor, there's nothing. I'm so sorry. This place is just falling apart. The mechanism is broken, you see. It Fuck wasn't you. supposed to stop there, I assure you. There's the exit. I hope you enjoyed your tour. Please come back anytime. Or if you'd prefer, we could come and visit you instead. Oh, okay. But it seems that no one wants you to leave. Everyone really likes you. They want you to stay with them forever. I have to agree with them. Don't be afraid. Die. What the fuck, dude? This haunted house experience, um... I want off the wild ride, please. It hurts, leave me alone. Trying to conserve ammo here. Yeah.
Wouldn't that work for what? Aries Chaos. Ah, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, hey, look. Uh, nope. I don't want to waste any bullets here. Game's been a bit stingy recently. Ooh, nice. I say that and then get shotgun shells. Perfect. for some musical okay how's it going rope chain okay I guess the chain goes on thing tired oh, same Um, a shoe. I'm asking off the sofa to go to bed. Just sleep on the sofa. Fuck it. <laughs> Whoa. Something about this thing. Yeah, I know the combo doesn't make much sense, but... Yeah. I mean, only slightly joking. Okay. Just the chain. This half is fine, better be something with the other half, though. This is open for some reason. Where am I going to attach the other half of the chain? Is it despawned the enemies? You know. There's a lamppost that we could attach it to. Sign here. What? 
That's the importance of the shoe game. To the dude cage? You never know, right? What's this bit here do? Heather, you're so unfit. Just move. Thank you. Unless I'm supposed to like attach it to something in here. Ah. Uh. I mean, how long is this chain? is a piece of string, you know? I assume it's not this long. Get some popcorn. I'm so lost now. On the duck. I don't have a map of the area. I don't know if I'm supposed to have a map of the area. Hang on. Can I attach the chain to the fence? To the lamppost? Oh! I read it once. Turn it on. Break the fucking game. I was lucky. Can 
yourself hurt like that? Oh. Uh. Sorry. Why did you have to do that for me? Oh. Uh. What'll I do if you die? Oh. Uh. What'll we do if this god thing gets born? <laughs> Come on. How powerful could a god from a dump like this be? For sure. I'm sure it'll be no big deal. But anyway, something's gonna happen. Uh, who knows? Maybe we'd all be better off if it did. But if this is our God of Mercy axe, I don't want to see any more of it. That's a pretty good reason to risk my life, don't you think? That's not bad. Plus, I'm just an old fool, right? Do you think you're Superman or something? <laughs> no. I always wanted to be him. Besides, yeah. I want to help you out. You don't have to feel responsible. I know it's not your fault. Remind me of my son. You said nobody was going to cry for you. He's dead. Dead people don't cry. <laughs> Stupid kid got himself shot in Robin's back. Bloody hell. But why? Maybe because his pop was a penniless good for nothing. Guess I'll never find out. <sighs> Sorry. I shouldn't have said you reminded me of a guy like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe if you had compared me to your daughter. <laughs> Listen, I'll take care of the rest. You stay here and I'll be back when it's over. By yourself. Hey, no problem. <laughs> Besides, my dad's not around anymore, so only I can do this. Yeah, I mean, your dad kind of did it the first time around. Really? Sacrificing her, you mean? You might be right. Doesn't seem like a good idea. Is there a safe point in here? Okay. Wasn't expecting the door to work. Aha. Doll head. That's not creepy. Neither are those footsteps. Somebody usually looks unnatural and weird, but here it sort of seems to fit. 
<laughs> Fortune Tower. I suppose this Fortune Tower had ammo, did she? Client Claudia Wolf requests searching for then infant Alessa Gillespie kidnapped by a man named Harry Mason. No word from police, kidnap location unknown. Old Silent Hill newspaper article Alyssa Gillespie 7 dead in fire. Links to current case to be investigated. Priority low. Using alias Heather. Neighbours do not know real name. What is she hiding? Really? Douglas's notebook. It just gets better and better. Snow White. Cinderella. I have a red shoe. Photos on the ground. What's this? What's this? What? Okay, so something about a red shoe. Apple. Or a doll's head. Is it is it no correct? Excuse me, I want to explore outside a little bit better. Okay, good to know. Outside successfully explored, let's run. I'm going to suppose that I unlock the doors. This one opens. We are currently on a train track though. This is the dragon that guards the treasure chest. It's just a prop and not scary at all. A door. A cutscene? Dogs! Bees! Notebook, let's say it, let's read it. Dal is the one who said it, said that the girl was a demon, that she took my daughter for a sacrifice. But it's not totally believable. I mean, appearances can be deceiving. When I saw that photo in the hostel basement, I thought that girl looks like Cheryl. Is that why I feel this way? Something's not normal anyway, nothing good will come of this. But I just can't think of her as a demon. Is it my imagination or do I actually feel sorry for her? Why do I feel like she's looking for someone to help? She knows what's important to me. Everything else can wait until I've gotten her back. There's a date and a signature at the end. Say it's 17 years earlier and signed by Harry. Your dad. No stun gun batteries and no stun gun. Oh. You know what?
really don't think there was any good excuse to come in here. Except for the note from Harry. So. That one's broken. Never mind. Actually, wrong with the image then. I mean, the shadows. This is weird. Okay, it's vest time, let's do it. Thank you for following, Paul Black goes to Fart Mart. <laughs> Took me a while to read it. Fuck him up, fuck him up. Alright, I'm sorry. Oh, come in, how you doing? Please put the doggy down, please put the doggy down. Shoot the dog, please. I'm doing pretty good, actually. Feeling pretty good about the progress I've made today. Uh, enjoying is definitely a term. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually a lot better than I ever thought it was. Um, for some reason, I had it in my head that this wasn't a good game. Definitely a lot more jumpy than two. There's just dead people all over the place. And I recognise that from the first game. So far I've sort of played the Silent Hill games sequentially, so I did one, then two, and now I'm on three. Um, hmm. It makes some sense, you know. I have no idea. I'm considering doing four, but I know it's a bit contentious. What? It was stabbed in the head. Was pretty good, but it goes downhill from there. I'm just gonna keep hitting horses. I mean, they've all been stabbed in the head, haven't they? 
And the only thing I know about 4 is that... Doesn't it, like, not really take place in Silent Hill? Are these horses coming back to life? Am I killing the wrong ones? No, they're not. Right, okay. Am I low health? No. Yeah, this game has been all kinds of weird. Uh, there's a memo pinned to the horse's side with a huge nail. When 13 counts... When 13 turns count 4, you will die from the curse. If you wish to escape, there is but one way out. To kill before you are killed, you will be saved by the 12th death. What? I killed all the horses. 13 turns and 4. What the fuck? Oh, it's Heather. Get it. Ah! Carousel to hell, yell us, I'll say so. You're gonna come into melee range. Fuck her up! I can't see! Thank <laughs> you. 
this Dark Souls. Trade and I'm just slightly faster. Yeah, ow. I'm gonna go with ow. Jesus Christ. Is that it? It would be better for myself to die after all. It's nothing to be afraid of. <sighs> what are these emotes? <laughs> They're cool as fuck. Uh, when I think of the endless pain it would bring when his birth, I decided that instead of the suffering and cruelty I endured in that sick room, that I would like to restore a more gentle and peaceful death on myself. Where do I? Why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. Alessa? I guess it's kind of strange for me to call you that since you were me. But you know what? You and I don't think alike after all. And it's not that I don't remember that sick room either. That was a painful fight. That legitimately felt like a Dark Souls boss. Okay. We're good. Oh, hello. Stained by the evils of this world, we hold our sorrows within us. Only you can heal these wounds. Each morning, afternoon, evening, and night, we call out your name and pray for the day of the miraculous descent. I give to you unreservedly my body and my eternal soul. Whatever darkness may befall me, I will endure you with you beside me. Sounds a bit cultish, this. As proof of your miraculous power, guide our obedient and willing souls to the road of paradise, O Lord. We will not give in to power. We will not give in to the power of temptation as long as we have you in our hearts. I almost got through them without fucking it up. O oh Lord, save us with your compassion. O oh Lord, shower us with your blessings. O oh Lord, favour us with your abundance. Okay. I really don't trust anything in this game. Oh hey, it's just a wall. Something written on the door. This door is the gate which leads to the road to paradise. Embrace the bosom of the Holy Mother, admit your sins and be forgiven. Eternal tranquility can be yours. Ah. Am I dead? Okay, we're at the church. Pretty much. When we seize his medal. <laughs> but just as well. Burying it here also serves my purposes. Checkmate. Killer. Not yet. The time is not yet at hand. The time when all will be forgiven their sins. When the paradise we have long dreamed. 
Why are we letting her talk? After the judgment and atonement, an eternity of bliss. Oh, Alessa, the world you wanted is nearly here. That's not what I want. <laughs> not you. Alessa, your true self. <laughs> Are we tricking her? I don't need another world. It's fine the way it is. But you said it yourself. The world must first be cleansed with fire. But that's not what I want now. Alessa, don't you want happiness? Have you become blind to all the hopeless suffering in the world? <laughs> we need, we all need God's salvation. Listen. Suffering is a fact of life. Either you learn how to deal with that or you'll go under. You can stay in your own little dream world, but you can't keep hurting other people. Um. Besides, I'll never forgive you for hurting my father. I wish only for the salvation of mankind. But for that to happen, the world must first be remade. And for that, we need God. You self-righteous witch! No one asked you to help! Oh, no. You despise me, don't you? You're damned right I do! That's good. Vibrating constantly. Lovely. We have a safe point. Thirty six saves. I have night tarot card. I don't have a tarot card. Doors. Oof. I need to be, there's no reason to go back to the amusement park. Oh, is that what is that that way, is it? Ammo, healing items, anything. There's a piano though. I didn't look at that. Because I'm smart. Oh, it's a drawing. Chapel. Church map. So it doesn't like the most helpful map in the world. <laughs> Let's check out that piano. Nothing I can do with the organ. I don't know how to play it. Okay. Confession. I think there's someone on the other side of this door. Who the fuck is this? Deliver me not to hell, but to purgatory. Allow me to atone for my 
us in there. I'll stand within the very flames of redemption, no matter how they burn me. Forgive me for my wicked act of revenge. And deliver the souls of my poor murdered daughter. Who the fuck is this? Also care for the soul of the girl whose life I have taken. Dahlia? God, I am a child, trembling with fear as I stare at death. So hold my tortured soul with your infinite mercy. Please, forgive me. Gonna say anything back? Sure. I forgive you. I screw up, you know. There's nothing more to be said. Hmm. Will I ever find out who it was? Wait, 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 lock onto it or something. Jesus Christ, at the start of this game, I was actually managing to dodge these guys. Something was written here, but it's too faint to read. The notes stuck on the board frame aren't anything either. But I want the pens. Okay, there's doors back there I need to check. I'm not gonna immediately run off like that. Oh, bloody hell. Here we go. It's locked. That's like a funny lock, though. I want to check it. Big guy. Ah! How'd they get up? Please. 
You dead? How could you melt when you die? Oh bloody hell, we have no healing items. Why aren't we blocking? Actually hitting him. Block. Melt. Okay, another one. Bet you hear of an angel flying into the heavens, nothing special. Am I dying? No. Someone's crying. I think I was dying. Is this just a save point? It's like the biggest save point ever. Saint of Lesser, Mother of God, Daughter of God. This picture, that's me. I'm holding the baby. And I'm the baby being held. Mind fuck. The me that wanted death and disappeared with God 17 years ago. And the me here and now that sought life. Jennifer, unwavering faith under death's blade. And... St. Nicholas, Miraculous Hands, Doctor of God. Right. Fucking hell. Alright, um... So... There's another door, I suppose? And whoever's crying in my right ear? Okay, it does work. Is that ammo? I should always go with the file folders and boring books. Cassette tape. And this. Oh! Explanation on what the save point is. A bunch of papers in this file. I get the feeling it's a handwritten copy of some book. It represents the deity known as the Halo of the Sun. In heraldry symbolizes a religious group. The two outer circles are charity and resurrection, and the three inner circles are present, past, and future. Usually drawn in red, occasionally drawn in black or other colours, but blue reverses the meaning into a curse on God and is therefore forbidden. Okay, have a sleep. Okay, now that I know that. Yeah, that was this room. Just from a different camera angle, bollocks. 
now. A lot of numbers on the wall. You know something behind this picture? The ghost cries and footsteps has appeared beyond it after all. Yeah, move it. There's a fucking door behind it. Don't turn the camera around on me. Ugh! Oh, it's one of these guys. Last time I fought one of you, I didn't have a katana. Motherfucker. I think I did anyway. Maybe I did. Uh, let's read this one. There's a book on tarot here. Tarot is based on the 22 Hebrew continents and is said to represent the entire world. Each card numbered 0 through 21 has a particular meaning. By reading these cards, fortune tells me the future. For example, the first card, the Magician, signifi signifies creation, wisdom, beginnings, or destruction and fraud. The second card, the High Priestess, denotes intuition, harmony, faith, or dogmatism and arrogance. According to some texts, the Gardener deck has more than 22 cards. The Gardener deck does not exist today. It is mentioned only in the literature. It is said that these extra cards were based on lost Hebrew vowels and denoted an otherworldly transcendental existence, i.e. God. Sheet of paper here that's blank. And the moon! What? Vincent? Hiya, Heather. You show up everywhere, don't you? You make me sound like some kind of unwanted pest. A little bit. Well, who are you anyway? Haven't you realized that yet? Yeah, you're on Claudia's side. I told you not to put me in the same category as that mad woman. Well, you're pretty loony yourself. This is Silent Hill. Everyone is. It's true. We believe in the same God. I'm quite sane. Quite. So why did you help me out then? Was that also part of trying to resurrect God? It's not uncommon for people to worship the same God and still disagree. God? Are you sure you don't mean devil? Whichever you like. The point is that now I really am on your side. I don't believe you. Wouldn't be convenient. Much too unpredictable. So you've been using me to stop Claudia, is that it? Yes. Do your own dirty work. My dirty work? I think we both had our own interests in mind. You hate her too, don't you? You're the only one who can get it done. I don't have powers like you two. Besides, I always hated getting all puffy, sweaty. Oh, really? I'm just looking out for myself. Everyone does it. <laughs> don't stand there looking so smug. You're the worst person in this room. Really? You come here and 
enjoy spilling their blood and, and listening to them cry out. You feel excited when you step on them and snuff out their lives. <laughs> Shit, man, you got me there. By the way, I forgot to ask you. Did you get the seal of Metatron? What's that? You don't have it? Leonard was carrying it. Okay, Metatron, why are we meeting Optimus? You mean this thing? Yes, that's it. As long as we have that, we're fine. Okay. From the book of the world's laws. Okay. This magic square with strong protective and dispelling properties is called the Viren Seven Crest or the Seal of Metatron. Metatron. It will bring results regardless of whether the target is good or evil. Its strength, therefore, places a very high burden on the caster as it is also difficult to control. It is not usually used. This is why it bears the name Metatron after the angel Metatron, also known as the Agent of God. Silent Hill's ancient gods, a study of their etymology and evolution. What a mouthful. There is no religion that has remained unchanged from the moment it was founded. There is no, there, this one is no exception. When this religion fell into the hands of immigrants, it was deeply influenced by their own Christ, other original Christian beliefs. For example, the traditional representatives of these primal gods may be given the names and descriptions of Christian angels, thus shared characteristics began to appear. There is also one rare example of the chief deity, creator of paradise, or lord of serpents and reeds, being dubbed with the demon's name. Of course, this was not done by believers, but by their opponents. Fucking hell. So we've died and reincarnated as a lesser. Thank you. 
How on earth am I going to check out this cassette tape? combo doesn't make any sense. Make nothing make sense. Was God and the man, who, woman who, God and the man and woman who birthed her. I used to come to the shop all the time when I was a little girl. I came to worship God and to ask my prayers to be answered, but it wasn't exactly me. It was actually Alessa when she was a little girl. But anyway, none of my prayers were ever answered. Clearly, I've got to get through that door. There's a wheelchair here. Yeah, there's been a few of those. Hang on. Blank piece of paper. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, God. Really? Hang on, I have a radio, don't I? No, I guess not. I guess it's just a radio. That was about the tarot card things. <sighs> this is like so fucking confusing right now.
Yeah, the crash thing. Which is this. I thought for sure we'd be, you know, drawing it on that piece of paper. Oh, shit, that's an elevator. Fucking hell, I didn't even realize. Cops wrapped in some vinyl type bag. It's a crazy mixed up world has got me used to strangest things. Hanged man. There's now a cat chasing things around the floor behind me. Nothing happens when I try and turn on the TV. None of the books catch my eye. Although the bookshelf and books are all the same as Dad's. Oh, well, that's good. The musty diary on the bed. This writing, is this Dad's diary? Why would it be here? I sometimes have the sense, even now, that the girl, that girl is a reincarnation of Alyssa. I don't worry about it much now. That's all forgiven. You were unloved, Cheryl. Or was that Alessa? No, Cheryl is Alessa again. No matter whose reincarnation she may have been, that girl was my most beloved treasure. But that name was a mistake. At the time I thought of her only as a replacement for my lost Cheryl. When she knows the truth, will she feel bad? That's what worries me. Thanks, Dad. I was Alessa after all, but I do have just a trace of one more memory left. I haven't forgotten my sweet and gentle mother. Don't have a stun gun. That's broken. Get fucked, mate. Interesting. If you don't have anywhere to run, kind of a pushover. Okay, two doors. I guess I can go through both of them. Hang on, what? I think the only reason that confusion is because there were no enemies in there originally. There's a door here. Broken, obviously. This one has bars in front of it. Well, that's a no go. Broken. Openable. Ah, uh, these things. Put him down. Jesus Christ, how can we 
safe carousel to hell. Okay. Here we go. Mm, a normal book, something's written inside. She's just beyond this door, I don't know how, but I can sense it. But she's not the one, the only one there. I sense the presence of something extremely dangerous or even sickening. Or maybe they want to call it God. Maybe what they call God. Nevertheless, I will open the door enough of this idle chit chat. God, I'm not, but I fully intend to save her. No. Them. Last time she was written some 17 years. I knew I recognised this room! This is my sketchbook from 17 years ago. On the front cover here is a picture of Dad. Really awful look. What's this doing here? What the fuck? The door shut does rattle, but it's stuck tight. A secret is hidden out of your sight. You may be thinking, what could it be? You'll need five magic cards if you want to see. What to do then with all of these? I'll tell you straight, and it won't. And I won't tease. Just as long as you say please. Now the first thing you must know is that there's something in each row, but that is not the half of it. Three would be too hard to fit. The upside down man under the ground, to his right, to his left, there's no one around. Leave him alone, though his tears are profound. The moon is up above the sky, full or crescent, floating high. Twinkling light sits like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. Your Excellency, praying to God Most High, do you think you can tell me why you always look up at the night sky? You have it now, you didn't forget one major point you must not omit. And now, at last, before you take a whack, here's one more hint to help you keep you on track. Scary and hateful, a thing of the night. Better be careful, it's not on your right. Turn to the left and you'll keep it in sight. So you'll open the door. I'm just sure that there'll be nothing beyond it, but frightening peril. Forget about that, just stay and play. Or else I'll be left here alone all day. I got a brass key. And there's a save point here that I completely missed. I no, it wasn't me. Alessa wrote this a long time ago. That chapel altar. It wasn't that one beautiful chapel. It was some other altar somewhere else. Remember little Claudia always had a hard time winning, that made her cry. It's locked, and we need to put tarot cards into it. I don't know how many we have. Three. Hanged man. On his own. Eye of night. I'm going to say that's the one that's supposed to go over here. The moon is supposed to be above everything else. And that's all I've got so far. Go on the floor, here's Alessa's. For some reason, she always drew monsters like this when she was alone. She used to draw with Claudia too. A nice daddy and mommy in a fun school. A happy world where everyone smiled and laughed and all day long. In short, everything we never had. I don't have any heels. Yeah, apparently there's two doorways along here. That one's broken. That really narrows it down, Volley. Right, you son of a bitch.
block, woman. Dead. Ah, uh, my control is vibrating, which means I am dying. I have zero heals. Legitimately now, none. So this will be fun. Hang on. Nice. something stuck in this book. Oh, the tarot card. The Fool. This book, hmm. I feel like I have to read it, but at the same time I don't want to. Agleophotis. Red liquid or crystals resembling blood. According to the Kabbalah, the name is taken from an herb. An herb. It's so weird to read that in English. From a herb with the power to dispel evil spirits. It is said to grow in the Arabian deserts. It may be vaporized or applied as a poultice to guard against demons. It's powerful, but as, as it is rare, it is extremely difficult to obtain. Okay. <laughs> There's some kind of drug here, but I don't know what it is. Picture of me when I was seven. I look bored and sad. Well, of course I do, because of some reason that I completely missed. Two ampules. picture here but it's not my style at all 24 years ago Mo Dahlia used me to summon God God was in my womb but I couldn't deliver her then I was shut up here in this hospital room I stayed here until dad helped me out when I was 14 God ate away at me from within driving me mad with suffering there I was wishing I could just die and be done with it but I went on living that nightmare for seven years looking at this bed just reminds me of those awful days and I don't want to remember them because I'm not a lesser anymore but a lesser is still me I'm really not trying to deny it or anything All right, now we have the fool. Whoa! Hey, big guy. Double big guys. Okay, well, I'm just gonna... Preferably spin around, eh, Alessa? Oh, they're Alessa. Ow! Excuse me, gentlemen. I will be leaving now. I've just killed you two. There is one more door to check outside.
balls. Okay. What have I gained here? A book, a cassette tape that I don't know what to do with, another tarot card. I know what that is now. No, I want the map, I want the map, I want the map, I want the map! Let's have a look! <sighs> Missing one tarot card, and there is a locked door. There. But I haven't got a key for it yet. God, I hate that sound. I missed a card in here. Why would there be a card in here? Oh, we already read this, didn't we? This is just the clue to that puzzle, isn't it? Right. No one to his left or right. Have I got that memo written down? Five magic cards, I have four, right? Let's just see if I know where to put these things. <laughs> what do you do with all these? Uh, just let me say, please. First thing you must know is that there's something in each row, right? Three will be too hard to fit. So there's not three in a row. The upside down man under the ground. Don't know what that is. To his right, to his left, there's no one around. So that's not the hangman. Full moon, so the moon up top. Your Excellency praying to God most high. You think you can tell me why you always look up at the night sky? Turn to the left, you'll keep it in sight. Okay. Oh no, he's upside down. No one to his left or right. I need to find another card. I'm going to go all the way back up to that locked door.
want to know. That's lost note, right? Oh, hang on, I got a key. Oh my fucking god, right. See, that key was like such a nondescript part of this room. Let's go quick. Movie fucker. Yeah. It was such a nothing part of the room, like it happened with no fanfare on like everything else. Here, this way. I'm expecting enemies in this room. Fucking knew it. <laughs> yeah, locked door. Brass key, let's go. Excuse me, sir, I wish to come past. <laughs> Rattle old notebook on the podium. Oh, oops, and there's a letter stuck in here too. Let's have a look. It's a golden lesser in my class. If your memory is any good, you may remember her. She's the one I said they called a witch. Most likely her mother's abusing her. I've never seen her come out come in without some sort of scrape or bruise. Her expression is pitifully dark for a six year old. Something like this may not be so uncommon. Rather than coming up with pointless ideas, it's best we just watch and wait. Isn't there something I can do to help? I'm considering consulting a lawyer, but I do have my reservations. That's why I thought I'd ask you I'd ask you, my friend, for your opinion first. Okay, Gordon. Gordon. That seems like the film. Go home, drop dead, thief. Hmm, this used to be a lesser's... I mean, this was my desk, once upon a time. Bring my memories, not very pleasant ones. Hand out with our classroom resolutions written on it. Hmm, doesn't say anything about abandoning your friends while scribbling on the desks. You're a dick. <laughs> Just waiting around the corner for me like that. It's all going bloody. Hang on, what? Piss off. Hey, big guy. The yeah, HP again. Tape deck. Sweet. Do you know about what happened here 17 years ago? You've been here a long time. You must have heard some details. A group of pagans, blinded by earthly desires, spit in the very face of God. 
They tried to use the seal of Metatron to prevent God's awakening. But God drove the unbelievers away and threw them into the abyss. But due to their wickedness, God was unable to be born properly. And so she has slumbered ever since in the womb of the Holy Mother until the time of the awakening. Mm. That's all that I know. That's it, huh? Well, hey, Vincent. Thanks. Recognize that voice anywhere. Father Vincent, I heard that the Holy Mother has been found. Is it true? Alessa has been found? Did Claudia say that? Yes. Then it must be true. Her sight rarely fails. Bless the Lord. Maybe it's because of her great faith. But I could never be like her. I wouldn't want to. Nor mm -hmm. I. The truth is, Sister Claudia frightens me a little. Well, now, let's both show our faith by forgetting about this little talk, okay? Yes. Yeah. Does that mean this land will finally be the home of eternal paradise? No. If God wills it, my sister. If God wills it. What are these letters? No, maybe a bunch of suggestions. People are starting to voice their dissatisfaction about Father Vincent using the organization's money for his own personal benefit. I've also heard rumours that Father Vincent has been extorting donations from some followers. Is he really the right person for such a position? I'm in no place to deny all he's done to make the organisation grow. Even though we believe in God, if there was some sort of gathering, shouldn't we be valued not for our limited talents or our talkativeness, but for the depth of our faith? LS. Leonard? First aid kit, yes. Still looking for that last tarot card game. Get up. Is there anything to do in this room? I'll come back here if I don't find the card in this last room. Just a candle. Hi, Priestess. The name Claudia Wolf is written oh, very small on the cover. Looks like this is her diary. Oh. November 10th. She didn't die then, she was born. I knew that for a fact. But then why haven't I found her yet? They were, supposed to need, they were supposed to need her power to build paradise for the happiness of the people. She was supposed to be reborn for that. I'd really like to see her. November 14th. Read the Book of Praise. I want to thank Father for lending me such an invaluable book. I found what I'd been searching for. In the How to Awaken God, but it's much too cruel. Will I be able to pull it off when I see her? November 16th. I was free all day, so I read A Modern History of Refugees and Young Slaves' Child Exploitation. I don't want to be a mere bystander in this world. I can't do anything now, though. And that's what's hard. No birthday card on the desk. So she was still hanging on to this. To little Claudia, happy sixth birthday. I love you as if you are my real sister. Here's to you. Stop looking at the things we've already interacted with.
Psst. Okay. Stop the wires. No! No, this way, right? No, not this way. It is open. That's the chapel thing. Good God, this game. I was very determined to finish this today, so. Those noises are very pleasant. Very nice on the ears. Not as nice as this one. At the end of this hallway. Okay, here we go. Oh, one last thing to figure out, and I guess that's probably the end. Oh, you can only have 40 saves. Okay. Let's have a read of the memo and see if we can figure out from there. Okay. Uh, da, 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 yes. No one to his left and right, the hanged man. The moon. Your Excellency, the High Priestess. And then there's the fool. Okay. No one to his left or right, so I think he... I think he has to go down here. There's not three in a row. And just because it says no one to his left or right doesn't necessarily mean there's blank spaces to his left or right, I suppose. <sighs> just gonna lock it out on the bed, it's a bit easier. Let's see again. Big any five magic cards if you want to see what is all these. Play straight and I won't tease as long as you say please. The first thing you must know is, is that there's something in each row, but that's not the half of it. Three would be too hard to fit. The upside down man under the ground, so he's at the bottom. To his right, to his left, there's no one around. Leave him alone, though his tears are profound. The moon is up above the sky, 
Four law crescent floating high, twinkling lights, it's like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. Crazy clown, fool, right. You're excellently praying to God most high, do you think you can tell me why you always look up at the night sky? Uh, scary and hateful, that thing in the night. Better be careful, it's not on your right. Turn to the left and you'll keep it in sight. I think... I understand? Hanged man is underground, so he's at the bottom. Not the fool, because it says crazy clown. This must be kept on the left, but it can't go here. It could go there or there, so I'm going to put it there. Only so many places these can go right now. Nah, that has to be on the right. Has to be on the left. Balls, oh, man. <sighs> Not three in a row. Leave him alone, though. Right to his left, there's no one around. Like a twinkling light sits like a crown on the head of a crazy clown. Your Excellency praying to God Most High. You can tell me why you always look up at the night sky. I'm thinking. So, like, we can go the moon here, all here, eye of night. Here on the left. The high priest just looking up. Oh, there you go. Forty two saves so far. Let's do it. Here we go! What do I want? Well, for the two of you to die, that would be nice. Then I could relax. Yeah. When did you stop believing in God? When did he ever? God lives. Just look around you. But I do believe in her. Isn't this all 
about nothing more than your own personal nightmare, just like less than 17 years ago? Mm. If this really is the work of God, then I'd say she has lousy taste. You mock God? Traitor, you will go to hell. Not that again. You are claiming to know God's will. Go home, Vincent. Home? This church is my home. I built it with my power. The power of money that you view with such scorn. Mm -hmm. Although I admit that this atrocious scenery is all yours. Party started. Heather, go ahead and kill this crazy bitch. This demon who claims to speak for God. The time has come. You can kill her now. What? You go to hell! Excuse me? Going to run? I guess this is the end. No, the beginning. As Vincent said, the time has come. Vanessa, I'm saddened that you didn't agree to this on your own. Thank you for nurturing God with all the hate in your heart. It's time for mankind to be released from the shackles of which find them. Excuse me. God born from hatred can never create a perfect paradise. Huh. Happy people can be so cruel. It's a point. It's hard to believe that sympathy could be born out of pain and suffering. Why do you reject God's mercy? Why do you cling to this corrupt world? Save us. Mm -hmm. And save you too. I'm gonna kill this bitch. Cat messing about underneath me. Now your stupid dream is over. Oh, that's just a piece of junk. What do you think you can do with that? Do you really think it can kill God? I'm sorry to see you fell for my father's foolishness. What? You're <coughs> pathetic. Oh, 
well. Excuse me. Shut your stinking mouth, bitch! <laughs> I slashed her. Was I supposed to shoot her instead? Yes. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> oh, you're kidding me. Better all be skippable. is messaging me. Huh? Okay, so killing her is death. <gasps> the red pill thing, the red pill thing, the red pill thing. Alex, if you've just come onto the stream, uh, I'm almost done with the game. At least I think. That's been my feeling for about the past hour. Thanks for the follow, and Waku. She is nearly here. I, I don't understand. Am I? Did I do it? <laughs> what have you done? What did you swallow? What have you taken? Oh, lovely. Nice. Mm, I needed that at quarter to two in the morning. What's this? Look at 
looks like God didn't make it. Stop! What is... Claudia! Oh! oh. Why? Lesser, you cannot kill God. You are not his vessel. Her vessel. I don't think this is going to work out well for you, Claudia. Ah, shit. Okay. Let's go murder a motherfucker. Off we go, Heather. Just like Daddy, let's kill a god. What the fuck? I'd be dead. I wanted to kill you. My, my, my job. Not your own. This is fun. I um, I think the katana might be outclassed here. I mean, I don't know. She's kind of offering up her head. Red, red. Literally one heal. For your sake, Mrs. God, that you have better plans than this. Are you gonna get back down again? Or do I have to shoot you?
Dodge out of the way, Heather. Yeah, the range on that isn't very good. I'm gonna die. Bollocks. Pretty safe to say I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Let me continue from somewhere that isn't like... Thank fuck for that. Bitch. Hey, do some jerky. I know what I should be doing. I don't know what the maximum range of a fucking shotgun is. Hang on a minute. Just because she said it was bullshit. God damn it! I'm obviously doing something wrong. Oh, she just has a fuck ton of health and I have no healing items because I'm useless. I'm also gonna try something now. Which already seems insane to me. Ah! 
God, she moves so quick. No, equip it. No, get out of the fire! Alex. I will do this. Oi, do you want to shoot at her, please? Out of the way. And swipes are just a little bit too quick for my liking. Five shots a time.
shit. If I run out, ah. I have to beat this boss, right? However long this takes. Yes. Bitch. Yeah, yeah, because I'm not fit leaving a game with like one boss left to fight, so I have to come back tomorrow and fight one boss.
then start dodging. I'll strafe in a way. One, two. Oh, I'm dead. Since I'm one hit from death anyway. Come on. Get out of there. Vamos. I'm out I can go in for a swing, but I'm dead. Really? Last time that was like a safe spot.
balls. Doesn't work like I think it will. I hate this boss. I am dying here. Yeah. You bitch. I'm putting this down for a minute. Oh, that's right, kick the shit out of me. Vibrating my control. <laughs> I fucking hope so. Guess it's time to roll the credits. Dad. Dad.
Time to go home, Heather. Uh, was he gone? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, buddy, hell. Heather. Is it really an offer? Not yet. You're still alive. What? Cheryl. The name my father gave me. You gonna let your hair color go back too? I don't know. Don't you think blondes have more fun? Yeah. Final boss was fucking rough. <laughs> 